Hi and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am doing a follow-up video of the diamond painting adhesive from Diamond Art Club. So recently I did an unboxing and testing of this diamond painting adhesive from Diamond Art Club. This isn't going to be a review of it, I've already done that, so if you want to see the original unboxing and testing, I'll put a link in the description. So, very quick recap on it. This is how it came in this box, and while I was doing the review, I noticed that the cap, well, the lack of cap, I should say, um, the bottle's like this, and it has the nozzle with a hole so there is no cap so when I was thinking about it initially what I was thinking is the air will get in here will that start to set off the glue and if you have it over a period of time will the glue harden in the bottle that's what I initially was thinking about and then I thought wait a minute that means there's nothing to stop the glue pouring out of the bottle um, if you accidentally knock it over um, or if you're not thinking, put it in a drawer and lay it down, the glue would start to run out the top. So after I did the review, um, I contacted Diamond Art Club and I said, like, well, the first thing I asked them was, does the glue have like a shelf life once it's exposed to air? over a certain period of time, will it harden inside the bottle? And they said, no, it doesn't. So the glue should always be good for use, which is fine. Um, but I also mentioned the concern about no cap and the chances of it leaking out of the bottle. So they said, oh, we, we will send you the new cap. So obviously there's been a change to the cap. So they said, we'll send you a new cap a replacement for free. Um, and they did. So today I want to unbag uh, the new cap. So I'll put this on the table. It is a slanted table so I just don't want it to slide or fall over. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll uh, actually uh, just do the unbagging. I haven't opened it. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but feeling in, feeling the bag, it feels like it's a flat cap. I don't know if it's a flat cap with a little piece that you can pull to uh, get a nozzle or how it works. So it's all new to me. So just cut it open. It's just a, a normal, um, what we would call Jiffy bag, bubble wrap, uh, bubble padded envelope. So all I'm expecting in here is just a cap. So no fancy um, packaging, not branded or anything, because this is purely a replacement cap. Ah, right, okay. So it's not what I thought it was going to be. It is actually a cap for the cap. And it's just as well... I moved this because I had I actually lay it down and forgot about it on its side and the glue has started to come out the top. So um, just as well I've got this. So the cap is actually a cap that fits on top of the cap or the top. So this will just push on like that. Stops the glue coming out. Simple as that. So Nice easy fix. Um, I can only imagine it's something that they hadn't thought about originally and then did think about it and thought, oh yeah, we should do something about that. So, I'm trying to see if it, oh yeah, that's better, it clicks. So it is a good tight fit. So I wouldn't be worried about putting this in a drawer, laying down and the glue leaking out, which nearly happened there. Um, so that does fix the problem. So I... Uh, I asked them if people who have already ordered this and have just the white top and don't have the actual cap, if they could contact Diamond Art Club if they wanted a ca an actual cap 
could they contact Diamond Dart Club and get a replace? Uh, I was thinking it was a replacement. It's not a replacement. It's an addition. So could people contact them and ask for the actual cap? And they said yes. So if you have ordered diamond painting adhesive from Diamond Art Club and you do not have a proper cap and you would like one, all you have to do is contact uh, customer service uh, at support at diamondartclub.com and ask them if they can send you a cap for the bottle. And they will do that and they told me they will do it for free. So it won't cost you anything and then you will have a proper cap that won't allow the glue to spill, which I would, uh, I would highly recommend. So the other thing they mentioned was that they still have the, some of the, that doesn't make sense actually thinking about that. They told me they still, still have some of the old caps. I think they mean they have some uh, bottles that don't have the cap. As I said, I was thinking this was going to be a totally different top, um, but it's basically just a cap that goes on the top. So they must have some bottles that are the way that mine was without this piece. They said that once that stock has gone, they will change the image on the website because at the moment, as it stands, if you look at the accessories section on Diamond Art Club's website, you will see this bottle with no clear top or semi-clear top. It's just the white top. Um, they said that once they um, finish the, uh, the ones with the white top and all they have is the ones with the actual cap, they will change the picture on the website. So, as I said, if you happen to have ordered one and you don't have this top piece, just contact them, they will send one out and uh, that will be the problem solved. So not what I was expecting at all. I was thinking it was an actual replacement for this top, um, but it's actually a cap for the top. So as I said, I, I noticed this in the original unboxing and contacted Diamond Dark Club and they have resolved the issue. So if uh, anybody has the bottle with no cap, just contact them and they will send one out for free. So that was the cap. The other thing that I mentioned to them um, was the adapter, the adapter, the applicator. <clears throat> so the glue comes with this applicator and the idea of it was, or is, um, if you're use, uh, doing a diamond painting and you suddenly hit a dead spot where the glue isn't sticky for whatever reason, um, you can use this glue and use this applicator to spread the glue. Now, when I did the unboxing and testing, I sort of pushed it to the limit and I had a whole canvas that wasn't really sticky enough and I covered the whole canvas and um, used this applicator to spread it. Again, you can watch it in the, the actual unboxing and testing. <clears throat> but since that, I haven't touched that canvas. So it's been sitting with release paper on it. And I thought it would be an idea to try it today and just see if I can lift the release paper off easily and put it back again. Um, because I've been working on another kit. So this has just been sitting and uh, doing nothing. So it's really a test just to see if the glue still allows me to take the release paper off and put it back on or if the release paper is starting to come off or if the release paper is starting to stick. Um, <clears throat> as I said, this is pushing it past really what it's intended for. They did tell me that it's really aimed at small areas. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it is aimed at small areas. And that is why you have this applicator and not a brush. So um, we'll give it a, a look. So I'll just need to go and get the canvas and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is the canvas that I used the, the adhesive on. Um, originally, the, the glue was not sticky enough 
to hold drills. I actually started to try and do this kit. I have to mention it is not a diamond art club. It is nowhere near a diamond art club. Um, <clears throat> but I tried to, to start it and I found that as soon as I touched any drills that were on the glue, um, they started to move. And then I realised the glue actually wasn't that tacky. And I was looking for an alternative or, or a way to fix it. And it just happened that Diamond Art Club came out with their own uh, diamond painting adhesive. So that, that's why I got it. But as I said, I was trying to cover the whole canvas. And after speaking to them, they said it's really intended for small areas. So I wouldn't say this was a small area. Um, this is a 40 by 40. So it's a, a pretty big area that I covered with the glue and uh, I put the release paper down. Everything looked fine. It's been sitting for, I'm not sure, a couple of weeks maybe. Um, and I haven't touched it, I haven't done anything to it at all. And I just thought today I'll try peeling the release paper sheets off and see if they come off um, see if they still stick. Now this first one, it did stick a bit, but I do have a few drills here, so they're holding up off the glue, so um, that's expected. The next one we have this strip, so we'll give it a try. It is coming off, but it's, uh, it's definitely sticking more than the original glue would have. That one actually feels like original glue, that, that one worked really well. So it might have just been that sheet of release paper, it sometimes happens. Mm, a little bit sticky, too sticky but it still works. I'm sure you can hear it, but it is uh, still stuck. Yeah, I think that's far enough. Definitely sticky enough. No problems. The thing that I started to think about was because I've done this huge area, will it affect it? Um, will the glue actually start to stick to the release paper? Um, it hasn't. And it's still extremely sticky. So. Normally, when I, in fact, always when I do diamond paintings, I remove the original clear cover and I cover the whole canvas. It doesn't matter how big the canvas is. I cover the whole canvas with release paper so that I can just work in sections. Um, I don't have to cut anything. I don't have to use washi tape to make a grid. Basically, I just do this little overlap so I can pick up the release paper and these are my sections. So it just means that when I finish, say this was done, and um, working on this section, I finish it, and then I just peel off the next sheet and that's it, I'm ready to go. I don't have to cut um, any paper or anything. And that's just the way that I like to do it. But because I do very large ones at times, the release paper can be on the glue for, I don't know, two months, three months maybe. Um, so it's good to know that it's not sticking to the glue over time. Um, it's, it's really sticky, tacky. I mean, you could hear it when I was uh, putting my finger on it. So definitely good to go. That one sheet that's sort of curled up now. Um, every once in a while you'll get a sheet because over time, I mean, these sheets are three years old, um, double sided release paper. Every now and again you'll just find a sheet just sticks a little bit more than it should. Um, you could try the other side or you could just throw it away. I mean I have, I forget, 300 of these things. Um, so if I get one that gets a bit iffy like that I would probably just throw it away and not take the chance that it's going to stick um, really bad. So this one, because I've got a few drills that are holding it up, it doesn't stick as well, but that's normal. That happens all the time. 
But um, yeah, it's sticking very well. Um, as I said, this was useless. I mean, the, the diamond painting, I could not do the diamond painting the way the, the glue originally was. Um, I am absolutely certain that if I had spent time and done this 40 by 40 and picked the canvas up, drills would have fallen off. Um, they just were barely sticking. And as I said, if I touched a drill, when I was placing a drill and happened to touch the one next to it, it just moved. They shouldn't do that. So it did save the picture. Definitely saved the picture. Um, but applying the glue to an area this size with the applicator was awkward. Um, but again, after I contacted Diamond Art Club, they told me that really this is intended for small areas. So if I was going to do this again, or if I had to do this again, I would probably get one of those little silicone brushes that you get for baking, like for uh, for putting on pastry, like putting egg yolk uh, just spread, to spread on pastry to brown it. Um, I'd probably use one of those little silicone brushes. Um, it is a, a water-based glue, and it is very, very easy. Um, when I had used this, I just put it under running water and it just came off immediately. Um, I would imagine with a silicon brush it would be just as easy. Um, as long as you don't leave it sitting for a while, um, it would work fine. But as I said, Diamond Art Club said it's really intended for small areas, but I've maybe pushed it a bit and uh, I think it would still work um, to do something like this. Just don't use the applicator. It's really awkward to try and get the glue spread evenly and a brush would definitely work a lot better. Um, but again, I don't know how many people would want to do an area this size and, and glue. Um, so yeah, that's it. So yeah, the, the cap problem is solved for free, which is always nice. And uh, the, the glue is absolutely fine, no problems. Been sitting for, I'm guessing two weeks, maybe longer, and no problems at all. Extremely tacky, way, way, way better than it was originally. So uh, this canvas did not go in the bin. It's been saved and the picture will be done at some point. So I think we can safely say that was a win-win. Um, the cap for the bottle is not what I was expecting. I was expecting a totally new cap um, that had some kind of cap on it, a totally new top with some kind of cap on it. And it was actually a cap that fits on top of the original top. And if you press it down, it clicks. So it's a very good fit, very tight fit. You don't have to worry about any glue spilling out of the bottle. So perfect. Um, the other thing was when I checked the glue, as you could see, it was very tacky. Um, it's been sitting for, uh, as I, I'm guessing, I should have checked, but I didn't, um, two weeks at least. Um, and it's, it's working fine, absolutely fine. Um, it's actually, you could see when I was touching my finger on the glue, it was actually trying to lift the, the canvas up. So very tacky but the release paper was still coming up easily apart from that one sheet and I'm definitely putting that down to that one sheet. Um, every now and again, because these sheets have been used for I think three years, constantly using the same sheets again and again, um, every once in a while you get one that just, when you go to peel it off, you think eh, it's a bit too sticky. Um, so what I tend to do is rather than try and mess about with it. As I said, I think I've got about 300 of these sheets. Um, I, I will just bend the ones that feel as if they're starting to stick a bit too much. Um, the rest, as you saw, just peeled off as normal, as if it was just a new diamond painting. Um, and as I said, compared to how it was originally, it's a massive improvement. And it saved me um, basically just bending this diamond painting, throwing it in the bin. So. Um, the glue, um, I would definitely say if you have hit small um, dead patches before, you've maybe tried the baby wipe trick, wipe it with a baby wipe, let it dry, see if it re-sticks. I tried it with this, with the whole canvas, it didn't make any difference. It was just the glue wasn't good from the beginning. 
So um, I just decided to try and fix it, and thankfully it worked. Um, so if you if you are getting the occasional little small piece where it just doesn't seem to stick right, um, I think uh, Diamond Art Club's diamond painting adhesive would definitely be the answer. So um, I'm not so sure about if you do the whole canvas like I did. I mean, it definitely works, um, but it's not really how it's meant to be used. But as I said, I think if you use the silicone brush that's used for egg yolk, um, personally, I don't see why it wouldn't work. It, it, it's worked with this using the applicator. So with a brush, I think it would be even more even. So that is it. Um, yeah. So that was an update on the diamond painting adhesive from Diamond Art Club and it gets a double thumbs up. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, anything to do with diamond painting, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube Live. I do random lives, I don't have set dates or times, you can drop in, see what I'm working on, have a bit of a chat. So that's it, thanks for watching and in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.